These are the components for the, the Blue Chick CNC machine. Here you'll have the Y-axis horizontal gantry piece. These are the two motor mounts. This is part of the uh, Z-axis, top of the Z-axis, the actual Z-axis itself, the motor mount, and the pieces that hook the, the motor mounts on the, the spindle pieces onto the Z-axis. This is part of the Y-axis. This is the Z and Y-axis plate, and this is for the motor mount for the Y-axis. These are the gantry sides. These are the lateral supports for the gantry sides. Um, this is a belt will be connected to, and then you have the table, which has two long members here that go underneath the table for support, and then you have the two table ends, and these little pieces are hold the, uh, the timing belts in position. This is what the machine will look like when it's done. You have the ends here for the table, table top, the rails, you have the spindle mount. In this case, it's only using one because a small spindle is used. You'll use two of them if a large spindle or a large router is being used. Um, then you have the, the motor, the mortar mount, the piece that fits the that holds the, um, the lead screw in place, the lead nut, the anti-backlash lead nut, uh, the Z-axis pieces. You have the, the Z and Y plate, gantry sides here, and the lateral support connected to the gantry side. Then you have the back support here, and you also have two pieces. One is actually uh, adjustable on the, on the bottom, and then you have a top piece for the y-axis for the rail holders and on the side you can see the belts timing belts and you have a timing pulley you have three bearings here you have the v-groove bearings on the uh, gantry side and on the uh, y and z plate and then these are the pieces that hold the v or hold the uh, timing belts in place and in the back of the y-axis you can see this is the motor mount very very tight um, there's not much wiggle room here and you also have the pulley here and bearings in this location for the first step of the Build Your CNC uh, Blue Chick CNC machine, we're going to be putting together the tabletop, which consists of, this is the tabletop. These two pieces are the support underneath the tabletop, and these are the front and back pieces. For most of the assembly on the CNC machine, we're going to use these one and a half inch screws and the cross dowel, also called barrel nuts. So, let's first put the pieces underneath the table. So, we're going to have to pick up the table. Make sure that the tabletop has um, counter boards on the top, not on the bottom. The counter boards are going to keep the screw heads flat on the surface so they don't get in the way of the work. This one will go here. See the cross dowel holes match up with these holes here, and this one will go here. So let's put the first one on. The cross dial head, which has the, the slot, will be flush. Now we're putting together the second one. Okay, so now your table should have the two supports underneath it. See how it sits on the table? This is what the two supports look like. And these supports will not actually um, be on another tabletop. They won't be hitting the surface. We're stretching the table. These two ends will lift up the table enough so the mechanics can go underneath. So let's go ahead and put these together. You probably want to know that when the table is slanted this way and the end is is vertical, a good right angle to it. So what you want to do is make sure that you have the other table side, table um, table end underneath. This way, when you're putting, what we did was we added the other end, which is over here, underneath, so this can be perfectly at a right angle with this side. Otherwise, your screws will not align well with the cross dowels. These holes here, this hole right here and this hole right here, do not line up with these holes here. So we have to make sure that it's turned around and they match. So after we put, after we put these screws in, we're also going to put the screws at the ends of the supports. Now 
Now for both of the sides we need to put in the cross dowel and the, and the screw so the, the inside support. You'll see the cross dowel hole here and then the screw goes in here. Let's do the same thing to the other side. This is what the table is going to look like at the end. All right, these two pieces are for the for the router mount. We're going to attach this piece to the router mount using the one and a half inch screws and the cross dowel. Now we're going to attach the router mount to this piece and make sure that the mount is where the three holes are located. have this mount connected where these three hole positions are. The router mount will also have a hole at this location so it can be tightened in this way. Now we're going to be putting those two pieces onto this piece and like there are four holes that match four holes here. Make sure you put the screw in from this side because this will be the back where it slides back and forth and you don't want any obstruction. This, these are the counter boards. The completed piece and we're going to put on the next one. Okay, so we should have four on the top and four on the bottom, holding these two major pieces together. Okay. Let's now we're going to put together this one. Yay. Oh, big hole, big hole <laughs> apart. Small hole, small hole together. Like this. We're going to use this how many inches? Three inches. It's a three inch screw. And we're going to put it through. Yeah, this is, a, this is at the top. Oh. This will be top. Through here. to the right of the router. Or if you're looking at it this way, it's to the left of the router. Now we're gonna put together these two pieces. We're gonna attach it to this big one piece in this way. The way to put this is, these small holes have to match these small holes, like this. And then this. The countersunk should be on the outside. And these holes have to go And then we have to attach this piece again with the double holes on the top and these small holes, I uh, know these slots have to match these little holes because it's gonna be adjustable like this. They don't work, that doesn't work. Sorry. Right. I, I couldn't find one that's there. Thank you.